In today's top cryptocurrency news, March 28, 2023, in the first new, Circle announces USDC launch for Cosmos via Noble Network. The stablecoin will be launched on the Noble Network, making it available to all 50 plus Cosmos IBC blockchains. In the second new, crypto friendly banks mismanage traditional risks, FTIC head tells Senate hearing. It all started with FTX, FTIC head Martin Gruenberg said. He emphasized that the American banking system remained sound. In the third new, NFTs, gaming and storage, the key to Filecoin and Arweave accruing value. Future growth in blockchain gaming, NFTs and the need for more decentralized storage could eventually benefit FIL and AR price. In the fourth new, European Banking Federation shares its vision of digital euro, WCBDC, bank tokens. The EBF calls itself the voice of the European banking sector, it expressed its support for European digital money, with suggestions of its own. In the fifth new, is Binance in hot water? CZ sued by the CFTC, watch the market report. On this week's episode of the market report, Cointelegraph's resident expert explains what is happening with Binance, Changpeng Zhao and the CFTC. In the sixth new, how Irish farmers turn cow dung into digital gold, Bitcoin. Tom Campbell, an Irish dairy farmer who runs a farm in County Armagh, is using excess energy from his farm to mine Bitcoin. In the seventh new, trader Chris Dunn talks Bitcoin and inflation on the latest Crypto Trading Secrets podcast. The eighth episode of Cointelegraph's Crypto Trading Secrets podcast welcome trader and investor Chris Dunn for an interview. In the eighth new, why is the crypto market down today? The crypto market is down today after fallout from the CFTC lawsuit against Binance and Changpeng Zhao continue to scare off investors. In the ninth new, Galaxy Digital swings to profit after $1 billion net loss in 2022. The Mike Novogratz-led digital asset firm recorded a pre-tax income of $150 million during most of Q1 2023. In the tenth new, what is an operating system? Learn about software that manages computer hardware and software resources, provides a user interface and controls program execution. In the eleventh new, Bitcoin price will hit this key level before $30,000, survey says. Bitcoin is currently at a place that will decide the fate of the long-term BTC price trend, says material indicators. In the twelfth new, Cointelegraph Markets Pro delivers trading alerts good for 65% gains in a choppy market. Using proprietary indicators, Cointelegraph Markets Pro crunches real-time data to inform traders before the market moves. In the 13th new, Crunchbase taps Alliance Block to boost novel applications in DFI. Crunchbase partners with Alliance Block to make business data more accessible to blockchain businesses and developers. In the 14th new, Sam Bankman Fried charged with bribing Chinese officials, court docs. The former FTX CEO is in hot waters once again, as he is facing a new 13 count indictment from authorities in the United States. In the 15th new, the secret of pitching to male VCs, helping female crypto founders blast off. Female crypto founders are banding together to unlock the secrets of success in a male dominated venture capital world. In the 16th new, keeping the faith in crypto amid TradFi crisis, Paris Blockchain Week 2023. On this episode of Decentralize with Cointelegraph, reporter Joe Hall is at Paris Blockchain Week 2023, chatting with some of the industry's most prominent thinkers in the aftermath of the recent banking crisis. In the 17th new, adoption and nerves, crypto pumps amid banking crisis. Despite four major banks imploding recently, Bitcoin remains resilient, but questions persist over the long-term sustainability of its ongoing rally. In the 18th new, Binance CFTC FUD puts BNB price at risk of dropping toward $200. Recent BNB price trends show that the token is declining in the short term after regulatory crackdowns. However, this time, the correction may last longer. In the 19th new, Ethereum joins Cointelegraph Accelerator program to democratize data ownership. Ethereum's platform embraces the principles of Web3 to help people own, transfer and be rewarded for their data. In the 20th new, 
China to upgrade national blockchain standards by 2025. The Chinese government has been proactively pursuing advancements in its blockchain sector and aims to upgrade its industry development standards by 2025. In the 21st new, BZX DAO class action ruling, Dev with upgrade key makes platform custodial. Delphi Labs General Counsel Gabriel Shapiro tweeted that the ruling can also be potentially applied to developers with multisigs. In the 22nd new, SBF banned from using online messengers under new bail agreement. U.S. prosecutors reportedly agreed to allow Sam Bankman Fried to stay at home while restricting him from using some electronic devices and apps. In the 23rd new, here's why CFTC suing Binance is a bigger deal than in SEC enforcement. Market observers pointed out that the CFTC goes after bigger fish, and its regulatory action often proves fatal for crypto companies. In the 24th new, zero knowledge proofs coming to Bitcoin, overhauling network state validation. Zero knowledge proofs have powered the development of Ethereum layer 2s, and now they're coming to Bitcoin. In the 25th new, how does the monetary supply affect cryptocurrencies? Cointelegraph analyst and writer Marcel Patchman explains how the monetary supply affects cryptocurrencies. In the 26th new, Bitcoin price retains $27,000 but forecast says correction is incoming. BTC price action repeatedly tests the metal of $27,000 support, with Bitcoin analysis differing over what comes next. In the 27th new, Binance saw $850 million withdrawals before CFTC indictment, data. In the 12 hours preceding the indictment, almost $1.5 billion of crypto left several centralized platforms, according to Thanefield Capital. In the 28th new, Binance Bitcoin balance drops by 3.4k BTC within 24 hours of CFTC lawsuit. Binance Bitcoin balance was reduced by over 3,900 BTC in the past week, of which 3,400 BTC were pulled out in the last 24 hours alone. In the 29th new, Tichoar chain may net halted amid new vulnerability reports. Tichoar chain has once again halted its network taking action as a precautionary measure while verifying reports on a potential network vulnerability. In the 30th new, Bitcoin hash rate spikes as analysts say miners coming back online. Analysts are speculating that the Bitcoin hash rate has seen a significant spike recently as miners come back online to reap the rewards of the BTC price hike. Today's news ends here. Tomorrow there will be more news. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with cryptocurrency news. See you tomorrow.